Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am your host Anna. My channel name is Only In My Dreams. Thank you so much for coming by. If you'd like to check out my first team order, it's right here in the eye in the sky in the little circle. Click that and then you can go and check that out after you visit this one. I do also do Dollar Tree hauls. I do dollhouse miniatures, jewelry, cosmetics, perfume reviews, and all kinds of other stuff, including prepping. So if you're about any of that, make sure you subscribe if you enjoy your stay. So this is my second Timu haul. All of y'all said give Timu another chance, so I did. And um, they did give me a refund. Now the refund is not something that they give back to you it goes back into store credit so you have to go back into timu to use that credit that they give to you for any damaged goods and what have you okay so that's how that works just a heads up i'm sorry i don't have the prices here in front of me for these items but i'm going to go ahead and just get into it okay so the first um items i got were some really cute false nails i thought would be fun during the summer um, it's a do-it-yourself 24-piece, a natural and delicate, comfortable nails. Now, as you can tell, let me see if I can do it without the glare. There we go. Um, they're like a brown with a gloss, and then they have the little hearts in them. Really cute design. Let me see. There you go. Really cute design with the gold. And then the little checkered, the little checkered number right there. Really cute. And they're short, which I like. The next set are also a white and a brown, but they are a do-it-yourself 24, and it has like a little drippy, a little drippiness going on there. It's like a cool little look, and then it has the little hearts right there on the side. So I thought this would be fun for the summer as well. Next item, oh, when they did include these gift cards, our giveaway to your family and friends. I'm not too sure how this works. Okay, you have to download the Timu app. I don't use a Timu app. I don't, I just order it right online. I don't, yeah, I don't do that. Just heads up. Now I did get the lint remover and um, it says remove every piling ball in your house. Now I did get this with the two extra blades because they have an option to get this with without the two extra blades or get the two extra blades. Now this is great for sweaters. When you start getting those little fuzzies, I have this cardigan that I wear almost every day and it's it's got all the fuzzies all over it so I really needed this now I have used a similar product to this before and they work great you guys I'm trying to tell you they really and truly do work great let me show you what it looks like when you get it so you pull all this out here's your cleaning brush then here are the two extra blades for you to put in once they become dull. Then here is the actual product. You do have to put batteries in it and it looks like that, okay? Then this is the cleaning part where all the fuzzies go into and then you just remove that, throw it in a trash and put it back in. And then the batteries should be able, it'll, you know, I have to look at the instructions. Here's the on and off button, okay? And then you take this little cap off and you put it on your clothing and you go like this and you will hear it just snapping off all the little fuzzies. So you'll go like this over your clothing and then you'll take all the fuzzies off. And I love the big, big, big design like this because you get a lot done in a small amount of time versus the really small ones. So I'm looking forward to using this actually today. <laughs> I got to use it today because my, my cardigan is looking like a hella, hella hot mess right now. It is. Next thing. Um, I did pick up some strainers. Uh, they have these really nice three-piece strainers, and they are in stainless steel. Let's take them out. Okay, so they're, okay. I was going to try to take them apart, but I'm going to have to use my scissors. But there are three pieces in there, okay? And they're really nice. Yeah, they're, they're nice. They're not like the cheapy that'll ding up really fast so these are very nice i needed these for my kitchen very happy with those and everything so far yay then for the kitchen i did order this okay this is a what do you call it silicone baking mold i wanted to use this for like my cornbreads and things like that um we are a family of six so 
you know, it's nice when you can get something already pre-cut made and then you just pop them out and just hand it to everybody um, quick and easy. So it's one of these really nice molds. And I think it goes up to, if I'm not mistaken, um, oven safe up to 400 and something degrees. So, you know, most of the time is what I'm, what I'm baking is 300 and something. So it should be good to go. Okay. And it's nice and pliable. So I got that one. And then the next thing I chose was this coffee mug warmer. Okay. So it looks like this coffee mug warmer. And I wanted to use this for like my craft room when I'm in there and I'm in there for a long time and I'm drinking my coffee and I want it to warm it up because I don't like to drink cold coffee. I hate cold coffee. <laughs> I can't stand cold coffee. Um, yeah. So let's see. Okay. So I got it in the white. I didn't know what color I was going to get it in. I couldn't remember if he didn't give me a color option. But let me show you what it looks like. And it did have some good reviews. So she looks like that. And I like the fact that it was nice and wide. Okay. It's nice and wide. So if you have your mug, like my mug, okay. It's not one of those little ones that have like a lip all the way up here. And then your mug might not fit. It's nice and wide. So you're not going to have any issues no matter what size of mug you're using, which is very, very cool. Then it does have a plug-in and see in the pictures, it doesn't show what kind of plug it was. So I'm glad to see that I'm able to see it now. And I think, I'm not too sure how many, you know, inches or per se feet are in this because it wouldn't, it doesn't give you any details about the kind of stuff, but it's a pretty long cord. Um, yeah, this is a pretty long cord. Look. It's a pretty long cord, so that is very nice. And also, it'd be nice if you were having some soup, like a bowl of soup or something, and you're upstairs working in your craft room or in your bedroom, and you just want to keep it warm until you get back to it. You know, there you go. So that's what I bought that for. And I'm happy with it. It looks like it had some options that you could have received it in either black, white, pink, or wooden. I didn't see any of the other options available for me. All right, I'm trying to make space here. And it does come with the manual, okay? Now the next item I got, I think these are my seat covers for my car because my seat covers are really messed up. Um, I have two front seat covers. I have a very old car. She's like 16 years old. So the seats have seen better days. It looks like it comes with these kind of clips. Okay, so it comes with these clips. And they're a little bit on the thin side, but I had like the design. So they came in different colors. I got this um, red and black, obviously, and it's for the front seat. And it has that type of design on it. Okay, and then that's the seat portion. And... I'm not, okay, this is the bottom, this is the back. Okay, so this is actually the, the top of it, it looks like. That's actually the top of it, it looks like. But I don't think this is going to cover my headrest. Hmm, because in the pictures, it looks like it'll cover your headrest, but it has like this hole here, and it's rather round. So I got to see how that works out. Yeah, because in the pictures, it shows it covers the headrest. So there you have it, two, two, two of these. Um, it's a little bit on the thin side, but you know, it'll do for what I need it for. And these clips, which I got to figure out, there's no instructions or anything, but it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a car seat cover. Um, the other car item I got was this. It is winter right now. And I have one of those really nice diamond, um, black, black and diamond, uh, steering wheel grips that are really pretty. And it shimmers and shines in the sun, especially in the summer. But when it gets cold, it's not terribly comfortable. So they had this little kit. I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, it might work. Um, it's very warm and it's red. I wanted something to match with my new red seat covers. And it does have a good amount of stretch. Okay. But it's nice and fuzzy and it feels very comfortable. So my hands won't be cold. 
Then it, they did include these two little covers to put over your emergency brake handle and then to put over your gear shift selector. I thought that that was kind of cute. Yeah, I thought that was kind of cute. So we'll see if it works or not for my, for my car. But this feels really nice. This feels very nice. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Next item, I got this picture. It's a little, it's the way that they packed it. It's like got creases in it, but I'm very surprised at the photo. It's called a fairy wall art painting that it came like in a canvas. So let me take it out and show you. It's very pretty. So it looks like that. And as you can see, it got creased up. Um, but it's gorgeous and it is in a canvas style. So it's not like paper. You can see the creases better over here. Um, yeah, so it's like nice and rough. It's not like a paper paper. So if you want to, you know, reuse a picture frame that you have or something or put it on, you know, something a little bit sturdier, you could, you know, do it with no problem without it, you know, getting messed up. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? I thought it was so pretty. I want to put it in my craft room. Then the next thing I purchased was um, this. Um, the box is a little smushed up, but the item should be okay. Um, it says it holds up to 12 hours of hot and 12 hours of cold. This is a vacuum bottle, large mouth. And I got it, again, to use it in my craft room. So when I'm in there for a long period of time, you know, I'll be okay. And I got it in this really pretty light baby pink. So she looks like that, and it comes with this built-in, um, like, cup. I mean, all right, so there's the cup. So it has, like, a little built-in um, steel, stainless steel cup with a little handle. And then here is the actual product. I guess you got to push it to maybe open it. Yeah, you got to push that button right there. See that? To open it. And it looks like that, which is nice because I like this size or bigger. So you could get a bottle brush in there and clean it if you need to. Now this came in several different colors. It did, but this is the color that I had got the pink because I thought it was nice. Then you put it back on here and it clicks on and you have it all together. I don't know if it's going to really and truly hold 12 hours worth of cold or 12 hours worth of hot, but I guess we'll figure it out. But it looks like this, and they had it on sale. Um, yeah, it doesn't say who's a buyer or anything, but I think it's kind of nice. I like it. And then I got this really cool, uh, like, it's a product for the sink. And it's supposed to be adjustable, so it can fit in almost any sink. Okay, and it looks like that. Now it's supposed to adjust. Yep, it adjusts. And then what you do is if you're washing dishes or if you need to dry something out, like if you need sponges and brushes when they're dripping and what have you, you just put it in there and it goes across your sink or in this direction, like whatever direction you need it in. And you can let your items dry. Or if you're just washing some, you know, spoons and forks and stuff, you can just sit them right there and let them dry. You know, so I thought that that was a cool thing to get. And this came in different colors. I got this in this gray, but it did have it in like different fun fashion colors. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, right? And it feels durable. It does not feel um, cheap. It doesn't feel cheap at all. So if you were looking at this and you were kind of on the fence, go ahead and get it because it doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels good. Um, the next item that I'm going to share with you let me see. Oh, these are socks. Okay. Now, I was watching a few of you sharing socks. And y'all, I got some big old feet. So, I know these aren't going to fit me. But I figured these might fit my mother, my daughter, or my sister. Yeah, because they do run on the small side. Look. I mean, I know they stretch, but these aren't going to stretch enough. For me, I wear a size 12 shoe. But these are actually very pretty. Look at that design. 
Those are very pretty. And it comes in a pack. So you get all of these. This has that really pretty cable, cable look. Actually, two of them with this type of cable knit look. Two different cable knits. And it has this pretty tops. And then this one, all these came together. This is all one set. So pretty. Then the last one like that. That's really pretty. Very nice. Okay. Then the next item I did get was this rug. Let me show you this rug. And I wanted to get it for my closet because my closet gets cold. It's like over the garage and it gets really cold. And this was at a pretty good price. And this is long, which is going to be great because you got to walk into my closet. It is a walk-in closet. And it looks like this. This is the whole thing. So it's nice and long, as you can tell. Um, it does have, ooh, this is a lot. It does have the little grippy things in the back. See, so you got the grippers. And then you have this on the top. Very fluffy. <laughs> it's soft. It's very soft. So it's going to be nice to put in my closet. There you go. It's nice and fluffy. So it feels good on the feet. And I love the color of it. Now, someone had made a suggestion to put this on your bed to sleep on top of it. And I could see maybe doing that because it's so soft and just, you know, sleeping on top of it on your side of the bed. I don't really, it's not really shedding because I'm wearing black. It only shedded just a little bit. But, you know, I expect some shedding. So that was a nice find. Now this next item is in this little tiny bag. And guess what it is? I don't know from our regular followers. Guess what it is? Yeah, you're probably right. Dollhouse miniatures. So they have this little cute set for dollhouse miniatures to put into a kitchen. And I bought one. Um, it does, you pull it out. I was closed up pretty good. Um, you pull it out and then you put it up on the wall. It even has a little holder for the wall. And then they just hang. So cute. Mm-hmm. Love it. Um, the next one, this dollhouse miniature related are these. These are going to be hard to see. Okay, I'm going to have to open up these. Okay. And these were at a very good price. And these are 112 scale. For those of you that work on 112 scale, uh, these are great for that. So they have these gorgeous... And there's several of them in this one. You see that? That's a little planter pot. And then they had two other ones inside. This one. And this is all one set. That one. This one. That style. And this style. So this is all one set, not including the three that are sitting in there. All one set. Totally worth it. Good quality. If you see it, I recommend it. Okay? So, so far for the miniatures, very cool. And one more dollhouse miniature item, and I still have like two or three more things to share with you, is this one. This is also a whole set. It came in different colors. So the different colored ones, um, if you chose a certain color, you get different things. So I got the yellow because I wanted drinks. And as you can tell, you got a whole bunch of different bottled drinks here. And then it's a great 112 scale, okay? There's a whole bunch of them. And for the price, it was excellent. Excellent, okay? I know, it's like I want to show you, but can I open this? Okay, just let me open it so I can put them back in. I'm going to take out just a few so you can have an idea. Okay, so these are a few of them. So you have that one, you see that one, this one. See, they come in different um, shapes. See that? They come in different 
different styles and shapes and different types of drinks. Very nice. And this is just a handful of them. This one has almost like a frosted look to it, a frosted like wine look to it. And then there's the rest of them, see? So it's a lot for the money. So if you see this, 112 scale works great. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Okay, then I did get these stickers. Just one set of stickers. It's called Fairy, Fairy Tale Castle. And... They look like that. I'll pop them up real quick. And the reason why I like them is because they look like they were inside of a frame. And there was like a handful of them. I thought, wow, if I put a solid color, something solid behind it, I could probably use it for dollhouse miniatures. Look at that. Okay, so you get two of each, it looks like. So you get two of each. Oh, that has like a cup. I'm sorry. No, like a drum. It's like a drum. Woo! Oh my gosh. And they are vellum. Okay. Vellum. Just a heads up. And then we got little cherubs. Then we have the little rocking horse. And teddy bear. And we have that one. Carousel. So remember when working with vellum, you usually have to do like a double side sticky tape to make it work. Um, glue doesn't really, doesn't really work that well. If you have a glue that does work with it well, let me know. Um, and then they have repeats. Okay. So this is cute and I could probably use these for my junk journals as well. I do junk journaling. I do paper crafts. I do jewelry. I do all kinds of stuff, guys. I do. Then I did get this really cool um, book, and this is The Phoenix Rising. Okay, this is a Phoenix Rising. Let me pop her open so we can look what it looks like in the inside. And I remember this was like $11.99 because it had other books that, that looked like 3D like this one, but they were like $20. This was the cheap one, and, and I like the fact that it was a Phoenix Rising. They had dragons and other kind of like cool ones. Okay, I'm taking the packaging off so you guys can see it in all its glory. So this one, um, it came in three or four different colors. I got the silver. This one is like the silver. Um, it does have like these bejeweled uh, pieces embedded in there that look like citrine. Then we have like almost like a sapphire look there. And then we have two more jewels right there in the front as well as one right there and a few over here that are like diamonds. You see those? Yeah. And this does have texture because it's like 3D. So you could feel it. It is like raised. All right. And there's the side. Here's the back. Absolutely beautiful. If you like to journal or you're looking for a journal for the year, what have you, this would be a really pretty one to get. And let's look at the inside. Let's look at the inside. Okay, so you got your little page, and then it lets you have the date, and then you just, you know, put your information in there, and it's all lined. Oh, and look, they do have a few pages that are, they do switch up in color. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so you have two sections to switch up in color, which is nice. So this is a beautiful book to pull out your stickers, your washi and all that, and then start journaling and, you know, really create something personalized for yourself. This is absolutely gorgeous. Love it. So what did I think about my take on my Timu haul this time? I'm very pleased. I'm just hoping that these seat covers are actually going to do what, you know, it shows like it's supposed to do. But we'll see how that works out. And the seat covers are a little bit on the thin side. They're not like thicker like the ones that I have in there right now that I got from Walmart. Um, I think I paid $22 for these two seat covers. $22. Bucks. So hopefully, you know, it'll work. But I really enjoyed sharing this with you guys. Thank you so much for coming by. Make sure you come back because I think I'm going to go ahead and work with Timu. And you'll see maybe one more video or two more videos from me in the future. Okay? So I'll talk to you later. Bye.